So this is a, a wonderful opportunity for uh, Cindy and myself. Uh, we had a, a special little program that we kind of put uh, together. June 21 is National Indigenous People Day here in Canada. Right, right Cindy? That is right. Yeah. And I think actually before you go any further, if it's okay, maybe yeah. we can sort of take this opportunity to acknowledge that we are on Treaty 1 territory, traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, Cree, OG Cree, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and on the homeland of the Métis Nation. Yes, yeah, so it's actually a very nice thing to, to say, and we often yeah. say that uh, before we give speeches. Um, so thank you, Cindy. Um, sure. When we think of this, uh, of National Indigenous Peoples Day, I think that this is a day for all Canadians to, to recognize and celebrate uh, the unique heritage and diverse cultures and outstanding contributions of First Nations, Inuit, and Mé Métis uh, people. Uh, this is something in which I actually downloaded right from the Canada Go Government of Canada website. You'll see exactly what it is that, that, I, that I say, because it is an important day. Um, we have a couple of special guests. Uh, one uh, is uh, Jay. Uh, Jay is someone that uh, I've had the opportunity to work uh, with now for uh, a, a number of weeks already. And as we build a very strong and, and healthy re uh, relationship, Jay and I share something in common, Cindy. Uh, we want to <laughs> um, build uh, something really unique in the North End uh, of Winnipeg, the traditional North End in particular, and uh, to build relationships. And for me and Jay, uh, he's going to be kind of like working as an outreach uh, person uh, for me into the uh, community uh, of an area in which is so critically uh, important in terms of the future of our city. And Jay, you're with us now. Maybe you can give uh, a bit of a wave there. Um, and then we have another person. Uh, and this is Gator. Uh, yeah. And I know, Cindy, you know Gator. So why don't yeah. you maybe just uh, kind of say who Gator is? <laughs> well, Gator is a bit of a rock star. I'm sure people have actually seen him perform. I know I, I follow him on Instagram and he performs all over the city. A little less during the pandemic. Is that fair to say? But yeah. We're going to get ramping up again, though. And uh, I know Gator because we went to high school together. I remember talking in the hallways back uh, almost 12 years ago, which is a little right. daunting to say. Yeah. <laughs> That or you well, can probably hear me in the halls, that's for sure. <laughs> that's right. He used to bring his guitar to school and play in the halls. <laughs> yeah. Well, unlike he used to see you with me hitchhiking, too. <laughs> but, you know, unlike Cindy, I met him just a, a few minutes ago, and I was saying that I felt kind of embarrassed. Here is a celebrity of sorts, and uh, Cindy knew him right away. When I said uh, Jay was saying, well, you know, I have a, a cousin who is... Uh, very uh, talented and i said well it'd be great to have him uh, come on to our short program cindy and i mentioned his name to you and instantly you knew who yeah. he was so yeah i did a quick uh twitter uh look at his <laughs> twitter account and he is he's very good um, yeah i, I saw uh, that uh, gator you know you had that hat uh and cowboy hat posting with him and his grandfather or his grandfather wearing a hat so there's going to be a story uh with the hat Ooh. and um i watched that's uh, it part of the song. I you didn't believe how many people don't recognize me when i don't wear my hat i <laughs> walk <laughs> people in costco and stuff they're like i'm like hey you jerk you're walking right past me <laughs> <laughs> well no, yeah, i'm sorry let's see what happened but you see now that looks good i have this uh, i actually printed something off from my printer and there you are and you're wearing you're wearing that oh, my God. oh get on. <laughs> so i think it's a signature for you there uh gator but oh, uh, yeah. like cindy i'm gonna learn a lot more about you uh, <laughs> oh, oh. knows a lot about you <laughs> so, right on and then and then we have uh as i say jay and i thought maybe what we would do is um, just kind of quickly go around. When we think of June 21 um, being National Indigenous Peoples Day, this year, what comes to my mind, and maybe people can just kind of reflect on it for just a moment. Um, I think of um, the, the fact that in particular, the last little while, the 215 
uh, bodies that were discovered. And I tell you the impact that that's having from coast to coast to coast as people really reflect uh, on on that on that find. And we know there's so many other children. So it's the residential schools. I also think in terms of the murdered and missing Indigenous uh, uh, women and girls, you know, well over a thousand over the years. And so for me, it just wants me to reaffirm my, my commitment to towards reconciliation. Um, Jay, um, did you want to just kind of share a thought or two in regards to when you thought of the National Indigenous Peoples Day, if there was something that comes to your mind? Sure. Um, I think for most Aboriginal people, a sense of pride and also a sense of belonging since this, since this is Turtle Island and we were the first inhabitants here. Um, for me, National Aboriginal Day, it brings me back kind of a picture in my head, uh, what it was like during traditional times, as well as what we need to do today in order to continue to bring awareness, not just culturally, but also with the, uh, some of the problems within our Indigenous communities, like the missing and murdered. Excellent. Yes. Uh, Gator, do you, can you share some thoughts with us on the issue? Yeah, well, I'd like to uh, first of properly introduce myself here. I uh, be David Nasty, Indigenous Cast, Kakla Kweke Jandu Unji, Shavo Gwiko Endong Unji. I just said uh, my my name is my my said my Indian name and where I was from. There, I was mm -hmm. coming up with Thunderbird, and I'm from Evan Flow First Nation and Sandy Bay First Nation. And that's also uh, it's on Treaty One and Treaty Two territory there. And uh, Indigenous Day to me. It's uh, it bring it, 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 it uh, even most recently it, it's it's a mix it's a mix of emotions you know growing up with uh, and uh, growing up with my culture you know I was I was I was raised to be proud of who I was I was always made I was I was always I was brought to ceremonies and I was I, I was I learned how to dance in the in the, cir in the Powell circle I. I Learned drum. I, I I learned about uh, a rich about my rich culture at a very young age, and with that, I also became quite naive to uh, the way the world worked at that time. But and then, but uh, but get, getting a a strong uh, a strong foundation of who I was as a Anishinaabe allowed me to uh, you know. Uh, I guess persevere through a lot of uh, a lot of our, our, our the challenges my people face, and when I say that, I I, I kind of generalize that when I'm saying that. But like when I say the problems our people face, so the, today is like a celebration to uh, that where we can all come together and showcase our healing and and come talk together and and you know ignite these conversations and stuff like that. So you know it, it's a, it's a step in the right direction and it's a day to me that we're, we're recognized for, you know, nationally for that, that we're the original peoples of this, uh, of this land here. And uh, so it's just, it's, 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 it's a, uh, it's a day of pride and, you know, and, and, uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, I could go on and on and on and on and talk about that. So I'll, I'll cut myself, myself off there <laughs> before I start talking too long. Well, I I, I appreciate it. You guys are very respectful. Um, <laughs> that you were actually made yourself available uh, for for today, and um, you know, is, is Cindy, you know that uh, when we talk about uh, recognizing National Indigenous Peoples Day, it it's actually a call for all Canadians uh, to recognize. Right. Um, and what about like your thoughts uh, on the issue on a day like today? Yeah. Sorry, if I could add just to that, sorry, just I, just before I lose my thought, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you there, Cindy. But uh, I mean, part of our culture is inclusion, you know. And just to add on to what you're saying, and like you know, this is a, a day to like you know include our people, and then but for our people to include the rest of Canada mm -hmm. to showcase who we are, as well as you know to bring each other together and whatnot, and being you know, and Cindy probably. Uh, confirm this, but going to Sister being uh, Sister High School here in the city was a very multicultural school. So coming from the reserve to the city 
to like you know going from a place where it's just all we're all indians out there and then coming from a place where we're probably the smallest group of uh people in that school but it, it also gave me a chance to explore different cultures because you had like people from all across the world going to that school and it was it's crazy it's like watching a movie in real life you know people going to locker to locker so small town to small city <laughs> but sorry <laughs> I'm to say, you know that inclusion is no, uh, absolutely is, 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 i wanted to highlight what you said there sorry i didn't mean to no. interrupt no no yeah, please it's pretty canadian of me i guess too it's, 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 <laughs> Yeah. You, you'll learn that sometimes in order to get a word in with my dad and I, you have to interrupt. So we yeah. take no offense to that. <laughs> no, I think the day to me, and I'm echoing some thoughts here, it does actually create a lot of mixed emotions because it causes me to think about more that we could be doing for reconciliation. And I know I, I can feel myself in sense getting very frustrated when like with what happened recently with the 215 children's bodies that were discovered, it actually infuriates me that it took this long for that to happen when we've had these calls of actions out there. And then you hear some better news, like today the provincial government actually just announced that they're committing $2.5 million for identification and protection of residential schools burial sites. So I think that's a step in a positive direction but it is frustrating that it's taken this long. It took us getting to where we are today to make that step and make that decision. But I think the day as a whole, in the hopes of calling for more reconciliation and inclusivity, that's the goal. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, um, thank you, Cindy. And mm -hmm. um, you're right on on the calls for action. And we do need not only to be talking about it, but to be showing action, all levels of governments uh, and people as a whole uh, need to, to work towards reconciliation. And the calls for action is a good starting point. Um, and again, you can Google it, you'll find out, you know, the 94 calls for action. We all have a role to play. Um, you know- It's uh, on the uh, Truth and Reconciliation website there too, I think, right? Yes. The TRC yes. Commission. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I, and Gator, just to, to give you a bit of a heads up, I'm kind of hoping when I was on your Twitter account, I saw this song called Highway 6. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's a video. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I was looking at it and I thought it was great. It's amazing yeah. talents. And, you know, sharing heritage is so critically important. I was hoping maybe we can get you to maybe string something, possibly. You can think about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll give you a, I'll, I'll give you a, I'll give you Highway Six, and then I'll share a, I'll share a tune, a, 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 another tune here that I, was, I started writing about uh, 215. Oh, that would be great. All right. Well, the song is Highway Number Six. Uh, growing up on the reserve, you know, yeah, you, you, you just can't let it go. And when you move to the city, you get a little homesick. So I wrote this song so I could feel a little bit more connected. Rolling along the highway number six, making my way back to the stakes. Window down, I'm out of this town. Racing away from these city lights tonight Rolling along the highway number six Making my way back home Gonna see my mom, gonna see my pa Guess things are getting a little better from here well, country's where my heart is. Country is my home. The country's where my heart is. Country is my soul. Well, back 
back in the city while now it seems with all these bright lights in the city street so it won't be long till i'm back again rolling along the highway number six oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah country's where my heart is country is my home yeah, country's where my heart is, country is my soul. That was uh, Howie number six there. That's and fantastic. One, that was very beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. You, you know, it's one of the things, this is the first time where Cindy and I are actually doing something uh, in recognition, uh, kind of like as a special event. And it's because of the coronavirus, I had mentioned to Jay, it would be nice for us to be doing something on an annual basis where it's in person. And I just can't help but think, uh, uh, Gator, to, to have, you know, your amazing talent. And as I said, I watched it on, the, on, a, uh, on your Twitter feed uh, mm -hmm. to be able to actually perform live. And we get, you know, a few other people to come I together. Definitely like that. Yeah, it would be a nice, you know, a nice thing to be doing in, in the in the years ahead. But thank yeah. you very much for sharing uh, that uh, that with us. I see what you Absolutely. mean. Absolutely. And there's and a next one. Yeah. There's a tune I wrote about the 215 as well. I I, I wrote uh, when uh, when that announcement came out. I was, uh, you know, I hear I, I, when you when growing up hearing these stories throughout my life. You know, from first-hand accounts and you know from my you know hearing these from my parents my aunts my uncles members of the, my 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 fellow brothers and sisters my my our elders and such you know and then when when that when that news came out you know it really really shook something inside myself too because i myself have been on a healing journey as well and uh trying to you know help claim that identity but uh, there's a quick tune here i wrote I just wanted to share it to share it with you guys here. I just wrote it, uh, wrote it last uh, last Friday there. So, give it a boom. We are Yahweh. 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 outreach into the community making sure that we're we're you know better serving uh and a part of that has got to be with reconciliation and as cindy we, we we both of us talk a lot about reconciliation and uh it would be nice like going forward uh you know i'll be working both cindy and i to a certain degree with with jay and how we can you know 
you know, focus on, on reconciliation. It'd be yeah. nice to be able to have you a part of it. Uh, yeah. I, I really, really do appreciate, appreciate your, your time. Um, I'm going to go to Jay, then Cindy, and then unfortunately we'll have to wrap up. Uh, but then uh, I'll be asking Chris to kind of put something together that we'll actually be able to promote on our own uh, social media outlets. Um, so we'll go, Jay, just for some thoughts, uh, then Cindy, and then I'll wind things up so we could uh, uh, draw it to an end. Jay. I'm, uh, I'm going to try not to get too excited here just because uh, this is a topic I'm very passionate about. Um, I, I hope that I've been able to make that very evident since day one because it's something I hear hold dearly to me. Like you were saying earlier, it took 215 for, you know, people to wake up and see and to take our voices seriously. Yeah. You know, I think we need to keep this momentum going because I know for me, I've been affected personally by the missing and murdered. And there was a knock on the door for help and there was nobody there to answer it. And to this day, I still haven't heard much about that. And that's unfortunate. And then once the 215 were brought uh, were brought to people's ears. I can't explain the sadness and the anger and a lot of the emotions that come with dealing with these things on a regular basis. And the worst part about it is, is that hopefully it, everybody that needs to hear it hears it yeah. and that doesn't fall on deaf ears because it's time for, I think, a change in what's going on. And I think by sticking together, practicing our culture, and just showing people how beautiful, you know, we are as a people and what we can bring to this world, instead of, like Gator was saying in his song, instead of killing the Indian in us. So, mm -hmm. um I think right now that's what I'm going to say, just because it is a very sensitive topic for me. Understandable. And, uh, I don't want to say anything that uh, could be too aggressive or loud, but mm -hmm. I will say that I hold this dear to my heart and I um, will be working hard towards, you know, hopefully pushing towards a better tomorrow and a change for the Aboriginal community, both in Winnipeg, Manitoba and throughout uh, Canada. Wonderful. I think it's very well said, Jay. Thank you very much. And um, this, I truly look forward uh, for us, you know, working together in the days, weeks, and in fact, years ahead uh, on what is, you know, we can't move forward without uh, reconciliation. It's an absolute. And I um, appreciate know, that you acknowledge that too. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And and we need to do more. So, um, Cindy. Yeah, and then I'll put in some closing words. Yeah, I'm I'm hopeful that we're going to be seeing more and more tangible changes now. And Jay, sort of what you said, I think these feelings have sort of been swept all across the provinces and territories, like all throughout Canada. These feelings of sadness and anger and frustration, a lot of confusion mixed in there too. And I'm hopeful that it's not so quickly forgotten. I'm hopeful that all levels of government and every Canadian sort of does something in their own way to contribute to this reconciliation. And just sort of hearing you speak, Jay, it makes me feel very grateful that my dad has you on his team now. I think that's a positive step forward that I'm looking forward to, again, being able to work with you a little bit as well. And I know that this is sort of a different thing. We've never done this before, and the pandemic has sort of created the social platforms for us to do these um, social media reels on. But I'm hopeful that we can continue doing more of them. And I just want to thank you all for your time today, too. Yeah. I want to say and I appreciate the both of you guys, especially during this pandemic, not only to try something new, but the amount of care that uh kevin that you've put into this and the support that you've given me i can mm -hmm. also say i'm very grateful for these last couple of months i've honestly felt like we are moving forward and that you know if there was a party that is going to focus on this and take this seriously i think this is the party that will do that and that is a is the party that will bring us a step towards that reconciliation 
I also look forward to working with you, Cindy, because um, I'm not sure if this counts, but I think I graduated a year or two before you entered Sislar. Hey. But uh, <laughs> I remember your dad from way back in the day. So I'm very happy and proud to be part of this movement with you guys. Aww, thank you. Well, thank you very much. The very kind words, Jay. Really appreciate them. And uh, both Cindy and I look forward to it. And uh, Gator, you know, uh, you brought a very. Well, let me say something. No, I'm just kidding. Absolutely, Gator. And then I'll no, I'm just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was going to say is that you know we you you brought something very special uh, to the, this platform. This is the first time we've kind of tried this, and yeah. I'm so glad you did. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm glad you're wearing the hat. Uh, me too. You know, it, me too. It, it actually makes me feel good inside because it's part of your persona now, I guess. And I've got a song about being a hat man. You see, you got to right? be a hat man to wear a hat. Gator, I don't, I don't know if you know this, Gator, but my dad has always wanted to wear a hat. And so sometimes pre-COVID, he put on a hat and say, Cindy, am I allowed to wear this in public? And I've always said no, because he hasn't yet found one <laughs> that looks good on him. Well, now that I know that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to but, get you a hat <laughs> yeah but you know I, I do i really would like the opportunity at some point in time and jay you know the group the four of us can kind of figure it out i want to move forward on this issue in a tangible mm -hmm. way so let's keep connected thank you for participating it means a lot we were really blessed to be able to have uh, you gator thank you so much and i as i said to jay it would be nice if somehow we can continue a relationship uh into the future it really would be okay thank you very much everyone okay Take happy care. indigenous day talk to you soon happy, yeah. indigenous, day. happy indigenous day guys Bye -bye. yes